how to install Windows 11 without having the required hardware. However, you should know that if you upgrade to Windows 11, even though you don't have the required hardware, you might get into some problems later on, like Microsoft might stop giving you security updates. Now, this is very unlikely, but it can happen, so keep that in mind. So basically, if you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, you are taking re responsibility if uh, stuff doesn't work or that you don't get any security or updates anymore. So that's on you. But without further ado, let's get into do it. To fix this, we're gonna hold Windows key and click R and write in regedit. Registry editor will now pop up. In the description, copy this text uh, here with Ctrl C and then you just paste it in here to get to the correct search path in the registry. Inside here uh, you will just copy the other little text there, Ctrl C, and then you will right click and get new and then we're gonna select D word 32 bit value and we'll paste in that text here. Then we'll click enter to uh, save it and click enter again to get up this little editor and we can change the value data to one and click OK. This information is taken directly from Microsoft.com but I pasted it into the description for conveniency. To find out your actual version of Windows you just run system information and you look or scroll down here until you see locale and it says Sweden. Because when I bought this computer, it was installed in Swedish and it has been, you know, uh, installed with uh, Windows 11 Swedish version. So uh, when you go in here to select download ISO image, you expand this, click download. And uh, then it, uh, well, you can scroll down again and then you can see select the product language. And inside here, I need to select Swedish for it to work. And there we go and just confirm and then you can download this little pack. So uh, for this computer, I'm sorry the install process uh, will look like Swedish even though my uh, system language is English and if I don't do it, it won't work. So that's basically uh, the limits. And here um, I've started the file, the ISO file we downloaded so that we can double click on the setup XE. And here we get install Windows 11. And you want to download updates and drivers. Um, some people say you shouldn't, but you definitely should if you want it to be working. And then you'll need to look through the license and accept it. And it will take several minutes and now you need to accept what we talked about before that uh, Windows uh, Microsoft isn't uh, liable for any damages that installing Windows 11 might cause onto your computer. So you'll just need to click accept. Now it will check if you have enough disk space and if you don't you need to remove some files and I had enough disk space so that's great. And I can now click install and here we are. It has begun with uh, installing. Windows 11. Here we get it. It's working with updates. Don't shut down your computer, it says. When I just write in my uh, previous local password and just click enter, this might take a few minutes and it does. Please keep your PC plugged in, don't turn off your PC. Here we are inside Windows 11. Very fantastic. Seems to be working fine. A lot of more Windows 11 tutorials will come. All right, and there we have it. Windows 11 on unsupported hardware works like a charm. So in any case, hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Odesum, begging you to like and subscribe. Signing out.